Come you on. handsome guy. Nigga. Come on. Sure. I'm going to get up out of here. Don't touch me, though. No, yeah, you're going to have to go. Up. Handsome guy. You're going to have to go. I bet Come you, on. y'all, he, hey, he delete this out. I you're bet you gonna he delete this out the interview. You're going to have to go. You're a handsome guy. Capable of acting like a handsome guy. You can't act like a handsome guy. Behave like a grown-up. Handsome shit. Behave like a grown-up, Ruga. Come on. Get the out. Touch you? Get out of here. You scared. Alright y'all, now it's looking like Adam22 done struck yet once again, and this time him and Ruga seemed like it was about to go there. Now if y'all remember the last interview that Adam and Ruga had, it was kind of already tension. So for them having this second interview, I don't know where this came about, maybe he offered Ruga a bag and you know he can't turn it down, it's like it is what it is, I'm gonna go and get this money, I ain't gotta scoop down to your level. However, it seems like Adam must have pushed whatever button, but we seen Ruga kind of react like we don't see Ruga normally react. If you know anything about Ruga, I always say that he's more like the level-headed guy. You know, he don't get out of character too much. He stays to himself. You know, he's successful. He got that song, We Done Let The GDs In The Door. It blew up. He done went with Kanye West. He's on another level. So to see Adam actually get him out of character and him get to the point to where he's saying he's going to smack him or what he's going to do. Y'all know when somebody trying to get a reaction out of you and they say, what you going to do if I smack you? Well, <laughs> what do you think he going to do if you smack him? Right? So it's pretty much a rhetorical question, but it's to get a reaction out of you. And to that point, you know, Adam, he wasn't willing to go there. As we know, he likes to start stuff, but when it comes to finishing it, he's not going to do it. Instead, he got his security guard, like always. He told him to get him out of there, told Ruga to leave, and it kind of cut off to the point to where it seems like Ruga was actually about to fight the security guard. And like I said, see, that's the smart thing about Adam. He brings everybody into his domain, because if you know anything about the law of attraction, as long as they come to you, you can pretty much control the, the playing field, right? This is why you'll never see Adam somewhere else, <laughs> you know, talking the way he talked, because I'm pretty sure if this was somewhere else on the street, Adam wouldn't be this brave, but he does roll with security, so who knows? But anyway, we're going to get into this clip, man. If y'all didn't see it, like I said, Ruga, he kind of made a couple threats towards Adam and got out of hand. And um, let's check this out. Before we do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button so we can get this video into the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to the platform already, make sure you do so now. Let's get into it. That was the last podcast. shot. It hit him in his mouth. Say I hit him in his mouth. What are you going to do? What do you think I'm going to do? He go. He gonna try to sue. He gonna be one of them soft ass, soft ass. How people. am I gonna sue you when I got way more soft. money than you? Cause you That's soft. That's not usually how it works. Cause you soft. Card. So you tell. Oh, he tried to play the money card. I got more money. But that's not what lawsuits are about. A lot of people, when they do lawsuits, it's because Adam know he can't beat him, so he gonna sue him because that's the only way he can hit him where it hurts. Usually that's what people do. You go up there and you do something to him. He has all right to sue you, and that's what he's gonna do. But he says. <laughs> I'm gonna sue you when I got more money. Than you. That was that was a that was a stunt right there. I give it to him. Telling me if I hit you in your mouth, you ain't gonna sue me. I don't need to sue you. You ain't answering my question. You weird. I'm gonna ask you to leave. That's cool. I will leave. But I'm telling you, it sounded like Ruga was kind of intoxicated a little bit. <laughs> I know that voice because I know when I'm screaming and I'm intoxicated, it sounds just like that. It sounds like you don't really got your voice. I don't know. Maybe. You know, Ruga had a little bit too much to drink or something, and um, Adam hit one of them buttons. You a I don't care. Yeah, yo, that's a handsome guy. <laughs> You're fired. Who's a handsome guy? <laughs> yo, that's a handsome guy. <laughs> handsome guy. Yo, yo, get the oh, you know what he's calling him? He's calling him the P word. The pe oh, that's why. See if you oh that see, <laughs> Adam didn't want that getting out there. But if you know it, see, we're going to go back to the other um, video that Ruka did when he was kind of low-key exposing him about him being the, the P word, P-E-D-O word. Um, that's what he kept saying. And this is why I guess Adam was trolling and kept saying handsome guy. But he knew what Ruka was saying, but he don't want that to get out there because he don't want people to know that. Uh, you got a soft-ass security. We're not, so, okay. Oh, my son. That's crazy. He's soft as hell. Get out of here. I'm a, we can hey, run the fade. We can yeah, run the fade. Don't do that. 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 Don't do that.
Everybody chill out. Put your phone down. Come on. Put your gun down. Come on. Come on. Put your gun down. Nah, so. Yeah, that's either good content. <laughs> It's either good content or it was really about to go left. And it seems like, it was, see, y'all got to remember, right? When it comes to any type of content or social media, especially with Adam being who he is, any content, whether it's good or bad, is good content, according to him, right? So him catching uh, Ruger flipping out or him saying he going to slap him or whatever, he wants that. That's what he likes because at the end of the day, you it's entertainment, right? He don't care what you say. The man let another man raw diggity dog his wife. And you you think that he cares anything you say? No. The Adam's a different kind of guy, man. So at the end of the day, it's not too much you can say or it's not too much you can really do that probably would offend him unless you use that P word. If you notice, he um he bleeped it out. I don't know if it was for YouTube purposes. Well, he didn't put this on YouTube, so it was Instagram. I don't know if it was because of that or he just didn't want people knowing what's really going on. But I see he, he bleeped that out, and it's kind of interesting. Um, When it comes to this, this is another thing. When it comes to this, I don't know how real it is, because like I said, y'all, this clip right here looks real, but everything else, who knows? These days, you don't know what's real or fake. You, you don't know. However, Ruger didn't put nothing on his page concerning this matter. I guess it wasn't that serious to him. However, of course, Adam, he responded to it. Um, he will take to his IG story and repost something that Flame said, and it will say, quote, Adam22 tried to make up a story, trying to stir up beef, a fake story. Then Adam, he said, I messed up and told Alfonso's story like it was Flame, my bad. Uh, who was it? I forget. I don't know, my bad. Yeah, so, you know, Adam was just trolling, being funny. Like I said, I think, see, when you go up there with Adam, you gotta be, you gotta watch it. You gotta be careful. He's one of them people that's gonna ask certain questions and say th certain things to get a reaction out of you. And if you fall for it, then, you know, you get caught in the web. If you don't and you just dismiss the question and just tell him you don't want to answer the question, then it goes to the next thing. You know, um, but like I said, it's kind of interesting that he did beep out the Ruger when he was calling him a P-word. And by the P-word, I don't mean the, you know, I mean the pedal. I, I don't know if you can say it. Y'all know YouTube and their guidelines. But it was interesting. But like I said, it's also interesting that Ruger even went up there when him and him and um Adam already had words with each other. It's kind of interesting. Um, let's see what comes out of this. Like I said, neither one of them really said any, anything too much. It seems like what Adam tried to do, Adam tried to to, to throw salt in the game, judging from what Flame was saying. Because as y'all know, Fonzo and Ruger they had a little friction between each other, but it seemed like they patched it up. Now, I don't know if Adam tried to make, you know, make more tension or, or bring more, more bullcrap to the situation, even though they patch it up and try to open old wounds. Who knows? But um, y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.